Welcome to a Rapid Start module tutorial. The purpose of this video is to illustrate data points, a client's journey, and data entry steps to help you analyze, correct, and enter data to impact health outcomes. Let's begin by going over four essential data points. The time zero date refers to the diagnosis date or referral source date. This includes the first date a provider can impact a client. Keep in mind that the referral date supersedes the diagnosis date. The intake date refers to the initial visit following diagnosis where a patient sees a doctor or clinical professional. Usually this includes conformatory lab tests, CD4 and viral load tests, counseling, and prescription for antiretroviral treatment. The medications prescribed means the start date of ART and lab entries refers to the monitoring of CD4 count and viral load to determine the viral suppression date. Think of these three data points as a pie. Each piece plays a critical role from time zero date to viral suppression. Let's move on to the client's journey. The time zero date refers to when a client was diagnosed or referred. The goal of Rapid Start is to be tested and treated on the same day. The hope is to achieve viral suppression in 59 days. To access the Rapid Start module, go to RWISE. Click on RWISE Viewer. After that, enter your login information from the home page, click on Rapid Report Performance Measures. Now select the appropriate start and end dates that you are going to analyze and click Run. You will now see your performance measures and exclusions list. Exclusions pertains to the data that was entered incorrectly. This includes data issues such as entering the incorrect start date, viral load suppression date, and or a deceased client. To view a client record, click on select. This is what the client's demographics records page looks like. Look for sections that are blank or sections that have negative values as they are red flags for data issues and reasons for being an exclusion. This will be the perfect opportunity to client match with your EMR or other medical recording system. This is where your analytical and problem solving skills will come in. Ask yourself, were the dates entered correctly? Does the information match the EMR or medical recording system? You can edit and correct patient records by clicking on the tabs above. Congratulations! Now you know how to use the Rapid Start module. If you have any questions or need additional information, please contact Tiffany Evans at Tiffany dot evans at clarkcountynv.gov